Uh, Photo Hive is a, a nonprofit organization that we've created here in San Antonio, and it's all about students and trying to help students find places to do exhibitions, to do to curate exhibitions, and to show their work. So it's a new organization, and David Farmier and Carol Boss graciously agreed to come help us um, with a workshop, and we had it. Saturday at the Southwest School of Art who also graciously participated and I have to say we only had five students and it was wonderful. They, they were all eager students who were interested in photography and interested in learning more and we started the morning out with a um, talk about vision and how papers and printing can help you express that vision and then in the afternoon we went into the workshop where he talked about the technical details that you need to pay attention to. And I have to say, many of these students that were there I've known for some time, and they emailed me expressing their gratitude in what they learned and how it's gonna help them. One of the students actually said she's just gotten a new printer, and with the information she learned from this workshop, it's just so timely for her because she's going to take it home, use it, and create really fabulous works. At the beginning of the workshop, it was primarily uh, David Farmier talking to them about what paper could do. But then at the lunch break, they all had an opportunity to ask her questions. And more importantly, they had the opportunity to really go up and look at the, the sample books that she had there and look at the photographs that were on. Same photograph on different papers, and they got to see exactly how a different paper could give a different look to the very same image and they went they would approach the paper rather quietly not knowing what to ask and then you would just hear this oh this is this is so beautiful this just exclamation of of pleasure as they were looking at the papers and and then they would go oh well, what's this and what's this and they would oh wait look at this and they would pass them among each other and i have to say <laughs> They were quiet at the beginning of the workshop, but then as they started seeing what papers could do and that these were possibilities for them, they just became much more involved and much more excited. And yeah, there were a lot of oohs and ahs throughout that portion of the workshop where they got to feel in touch. Um, one of the really great pleasures the students had was to the opportunity to pet or touch all the beautiful hummingbird papers that Carol Boss brought to the workshop. Um, they had never really, some of them had never heard of hummingbird, some of them had never had the opportunity to see the wide variety that hummingbird has. And it was like Christmas, unwrapping all these beautiful papers with these beautiful textures. And I mean, I have seen these papers, and I have to say, I was so excited to see all the choices that you have. And I know. Uh, they all took home a sample book, and I know they're all going to be looking at Hamamule for their next purchase because, well, you just can't beat the texture. You just can't beat the beauty that comes with this paper, and it's well worth every penny you put into it. And I, they were, it was just like kids at Christmas. Kids at Christmas is what it was like. Um, the fact that the students got to touch and feel the paper was a great thing, and it really opened opened their eyes, but what really then took it to the next level was when David Farmier started teaching them how to print it, how to set the settings, how to actually technically make it happen. It's one thing to have a lot of beautiful paper, but if you don't know how to make that paper happen and have a, put a print, your own personal print on it, then it's you kind of get lost in it all. So in that respect, the workshop that happened in the afternoon where they could actually go in and learn how to do it themselves was just the icing on the cake for them. Now they have beautiful paper and they have the skill to take that paper and turn it into something that's personally theirs. And I think that really just made it great.